Ella's Pocket Friends by Hattie Stamp Once upon a time there was a little girl named Ella who loved to explore and collect things. She had a special pocket sewn onto her dress where she could store all her treasures. Ella was always on the lookout for new things to add to her pocket and she loved the way it made her feel like she had a secret world with her everywhere she went. One day Ella went on a nature walk to the nearby woods. She was looking for new treasures to add to her pocket when she stumbled upon a beautiful pebble. The pebble was smooth and had a unique pattern that caught Ella's eye. She was so excited about her discovery that she picked it up and put it in her pocket. As she continued on her walk, she noticed her pocket getting heavier and heavier. She wondered what could be making it so heavy Ella reached into her pocket to see what was inside, but she couldn't find the rock. Instead, she felt something soft and furry. She pulled it out of her pocket and saw a small mouse staring back at her. Ella was so surprised. She had never had a mouse in her pocket before. She asked the mouse what it was doing in there, but the mouse just shrugged its tiny shoulders and ran off. Ella wondered how the mouse got in there but she didn't have much time to think about it as she was on a mission to find new things to add to her pocket. Ella continued on her walk, but soon she heard a strange noise coming from her pocket. She reached in again and pulled out a toy trumpet. She had no idea where it came from or how it got there, but she decided to play it anyway. As she was playing her trumpet, she heard another noise coming from her pocket. This time it was a small bird chirping. Ella couldn't believe it. She had a mouse, a trumpet and now a bird in her pocket. She wondered how they all got in there and decided to investigate. She looked around the woods but didn't see any animals that could have put them in her pocket. Ella decided to take all of her pocket friends back home with her. She carefully invited the mouse, the trumpet and the bird into a special corner of her room and gave them each a name. The mouse was named Mousy, the trumpet was named Honk and the bird was named Tweety. They loved living with Ella in her bedroom. Mousy, Honk and Tweety became Ella's best friends in the world and would go and have pocket adventures. One fun game they liked to play was to try and guess what would come out of Ella's pocket next. Would it be a lava lamp or a lollipop? Another pocket adventure that Ella and her pocket friends loved to do together was to have picnics. It was so nice to eat in the sunshine and open air. Ella would reach into her pocket and they would have to make a game out of whatever came out. One day at one of these picnics, Ella pulled out a whole grand piano. Weren't the pocket friends pleased? Mousy sang, Honk played, and Tweety found he was naturally musically talented and could play all the jazz standards from memory. As they were making music, Ella noticed that her pocket was dancing. Look, she exclaimed to her pocket friends, I've got a new pocket surprise. She reached in and pulled out a small caterpillar. The caterpillar was so tiny and groovy that Ella couldn't resist asking if he would join their pocket friend games. I would like that, he said. He was nonetheless a little surprised to find himself in a girl's pocket when he had just been about to take a large bite of a lettuce leaf at the local organic farm. He loved to dance. They called him Fred. After the picnic, Ella and her pocket friends decided to play a game of hide and seek. Honk hid under a leaf, Mousy hid behind a rock, Tweety flew up into a tree and Fred crawled up Ella's sleeve. Ella laughed as she tried to find all of her friends, but Fred was the hardest to find. In the end, he gave himself away when he tried to munch on her elbow. He forgot himself for a moment and thought for a second that her elbow was a nice piece of rock melon. When it was time to go home, Ella asked if Fred would come with her and join her and her pocket friends. But Fred wasn't sure. I kind of miss my home, he said. Where is your home? asked Ella and the other pocket friends. But Fred couldn't say. 
They tried pulling out some pocket surprises in case it would help, perhaps a map or a postcard or a clue, but they only pulled out a large leaf of lettuce. Oh, you have lettuce in your pocket, said Fred. You know what? What? asked all the pocket friends, leaning forward. I don't mind moving. They did laugh. And from that day onwards, Fred lived very happily in Ella's pocket, along with that magic pebble and plenty of lettuce leaves. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.